So, how is everybody today? Is everybody taking lots of action? If not, why not? You know, I was thinking when it comes to action because a lot of the content I post here on this platform is about taking action, getting outside your comfort zone, doing things that you think you can do, and then realizing that you can do it. Now, when it comes to us taking action, a lot of us sometimes have an idea, and then we have the action part. And in this gap between the two is where we do our thinking. And the bigger that gap is, the more thinking we do in the middle, usually the less action we do. You know, I think for a lot of us, probably the best thing we could do is do as little thinking as possible, making sure that that distance between the idea and taking action is far smaller, that we don't give ourselves time to think. Now, I'm sure you probably have heard of Mel Robbins and her five second rule, which is whenever it comes to making a decision or taking an action, count to five in your head and take action at five or before five. So you're actually cutting down the, the thinking part in the minimum, in the middle to the minimum so that you are just have an idea and then you take an action on it. Now, I'd advise you to try that out as well too, that for a lot of us, I think the reason we don't take action is because we do far much, far too much thinking. We start thinking about well, what if it goes wrong? What will people say? What if I can't do this? What if I'm a failure? What if this? What if that? And all that thinking space in the middle is just screwing up you taking action. So when it comes to taking action, how about maybe just dropping the thinking out or maybe reducing it down to the smallest size as you can and having an idea, take action on it and see what happens next. Have a lovely day. Bye bye.